So if you happen to be looking at the news today, you know that North Korea did fire a missile over Japan. And yeah, to be fair, it's pretty worrying. For one, Japan's own prime minister has come out and called it an unprecedented threat. And two, well, you know, King Kim Jong-un is, well, you know. But look, there's a lot of reasons not to freak out. And here's why. I'm Simon Miller, and here's five reasons you don't need to worry about the fact that a country may have just threatened another country and could want to go to war. Number five, it could have been a mistake. Let's face it, North Korea's weapons program has been a bit stop-start for ages, and it's only really been the last 12 months or so they've got some ground with it, so there's every chance all of this could just be teething problems. That's why it's been in the news so much recently, and yeah, that's not ideal, but they're just working their way through a few things. All that together does mean there's a huge chance that this is brand new to North Korea, and they didn't actually mean to fire that missile over Japan at all. Maybe someone pushed the wrong button or set the wrong coordinates. You know how these things go. You're at a new job, learning a new back end. These things happen. Maybe somebody saw a bug and went to swat it away, but instead accidentally pushed the launch missile button. That happens. So in short, I'm sure this will all blow over as soon as everybody involved realized it was just a big boo-boo. Number four, Destiny 2 is out soon. And you love Destiny 2. Even though the first game had no story and was all just focused on some giant moon and had a load of technical issues, you love it. And soon you'll be able to lose yourself in Destiny 2. And when you're lost in Destiny 2, who cares about All Out War? The best thing about this is once you've made your character, customised your loadout, called a couple of friends to get them online and taken on some missions, you're not even going to be looking out the window when the bombs are falling. You won't care because whoop de doo you just found some loot. And that's what matters, right? Fake items in a fake world that doesn't actually mean anything at all. Just concentrate on that and forget about anything else that could potentially end your real existence and there's nothing to worry about. Number three, Donald Trump will take care of it. Look, let's just say the worst does come to the worst and North Korea does want to go and start a giant war. Now that's bad. There's nothing worse than that and we should all go take long hard looks in the mirrors and go to ourselves, what the hell is happening to the world? But if we do get to that point, it's all right because guess who's going to be waiting in the wings ready to push a button of his own. That's right, President Donald Trump. And that's good. It means while we're all waiting to be blown to smithereens, we can at least have the satisfaction of knowing that our enemies are going to be blown to smithereens too. Sheldon Freuder and all that. It's a bit like that scene in The Dark Knight when the Joker's put a bomb on one ship and he's put a bomb on another ship and he's like, I know they're going to blow each other up and I can stand back and watch it and laugh because I got one over the human race. Although in that movie, neither ship blows the other ship up, even though one is full of hardened criminals, because Gotham City is actually a better place to live than planet Earth. Number two, pizza. Nothing is that bad when you remember that pizza exists. You can have the worst day at work, get yelled at, your girlfriend dumps you, you lose your phone, you lose your wallet, you fall over in the mud, you rip your favorite piece of clothing, but you know when you get in and you can reach into the freezer, grab a good fellas, throw that in the oven and just watch it as that cheese goes a delicious golden brown. Well, who cares? Who cares about anything else? All that matters is pizza. How can you be sad when you know this Italian treat is about to go in your mouth? And better still, there's never been a shortage of pizza, so you never have to worry that you can't get a pizza. I mean, there's been shortages on, on petrol, and there's been shortages on bread, and there's been shortages of, I don't know, bananas maybe. Maybe one day we couldn't get bananas. But pizza, there's always an abundance of pizza. So no matter what, just remember, you can go have a pizza, and there's loads of brands. Loads of brands. So just remember that next time you're worried about the impending doom of all of civilization. You can even have some garlic bread with it too. Garlic bread. Number one. Uh, well, there's a, uh, no, or. Or there's, no, that doesn't make sense. Shit. Shit. We're all f***ed. We're all absolutely f***ed. There's no f***ing pizza. What are we going to do? What are we f***ing?